So first thing we're going to do, get a big pan on the hob, put it on high, pop the kind of condensed milk straight into the bottom and cover it really well in water. You want to make sure that this doesn't um, boil low because if it does, if it's not completely covered in water, there's a chance that the can could explode. So you want to get it really nice and full and really keep your eye on it. So I don't know how well you can see that, but the pan's just starting to simmer. You can see the bubbles coming up through the water. So I'm going to turn it down to a medium-low heat. I just want it to simmer gently. Put the lid on for the next four hours, and that'll make a really nice caramel. But I've just turned this off. It was still just simmering away. I ended up turning it right down to two, um, so it wasn't boiling. I'm just going to take this out carefully. I'm going to leave it to cool down to room temperature on the side. So our condensed milk's had uh, two hours to cool down. It's now a really nice dark golden colour. Doesn't matter if it's a little lighter than this. So we're going to pop all that in a pan. Sugar, milk, butter. So we're going to put this on a high heat and bring it up to the boil. Uh, you're going to be really careful. You're going to do it in a nice big pan because this is going to be extremely hot. I'm going to bring this up to the boil um, for about 10 to 15 minutes. It wants to get up to about 118 degrees. Um, I don't have a thermometer, um, so if you don't either, I've popped some water in the fridge. And what we'll do is we'll take a little spoon carefully and pop it in and to that cold water and see if it forms a nice uh, solid ball. And if it does, then we know it's ready. So, pinch of rock salt or sea salt. While you're heating this up and while you're boiling it, you want to keep stirring it, keep scraping all around the bottom to make sure it's not burning because uh, if the sugar starts to burn, you're going to taint the flavour of all, all the fudge. You also want to be really careful that you don't splash any on yourself. Um, so if you are concerned, then you know you could wear some gloves or just use a nice deep pan. So this is just starting to boil. I've swapped out to a whisk because there's less chance of me splattering myself. I'm going to turn it down a little just because sugar holds its heat really well and I don't want it to boil over or bubble up onto my hands. So don't forget you're getting this to 118 degrees so you want to be really careful. You just whisk away, keep moving it and you don't let it stick to the bottom. It wants to be boiling not going absolutely wild so that's, that's just right. I've got my timer going here for 10 minutes and then I'm going to check it in that water that I've got in the fridge. So it's been 10 minutes, this is boiling away. It's just starting to thicken up a little bit. Um, so we're going to try it in the water and see what happens. So I'm just going to take it off for a moment while I'm not whisking it. And I'm going to pop a teaspoon of it in a little glass of water. And see what it does, see what it's like. Don't be tempted to lick the spoon, it's 118 degrees. Accidentally hurt myself with caramel before and it is very, very painful. As you can see, it's formed, it's still quite soft, it's still pressing down really easily. So I think this just wants another two minutes. It's had another two minutes, popped in some water and this time it feels quite firm. If you press it between your fingers, it still squashes because it's not completely set, but it's quite firm. It's really glossy. You've got that lovely dark colour to it. So uh, that's perfect. So what we're going to do now is very carefully scrape it out into a heat proof dish. So at this point you should have a really glossy sort of starting to set mix. But what you want to do is just beat this solidly for at least 10 minutes. If you have a stand mixer, then that's great, but uh, unfortunately I don't at home, so I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. You just want to be really careful because this stuff will still be raging hot. Just keep beating it, and that's this beating it now is what gives it that slightly grainy uh, texture, that classic fudgy texture. Now ideally, I would have beaten this a little bit more, but uh, it's really starting to set. So I'm going to scrape it out, get it into a mould while I still can. So 
So what we're going to do is take another piece of grease proof, lay that on top, and just press it down and smooth it out. If it's too hot, you can use the back of a spoon or spatula just to smooth it down, get a nice finish on it. Wouldn't, won't matter if it hasn't, it'll still taste really good, just won't look quite as pretty. So now we've pressed that in there, I'm just going to leave it on the side. Now, quick piece of advice when you're having to clean stuff that's had fudge or caramel or anything like that in, fill it with water and boil it if you can, like pans and stuff. If it's a bowl like this one, pour some kettle water into it, let it sit, rinse it out and then wipe it out. So it's been a couple of hours, it's set up quite nicely. I'm just going to take this out. All that's left to do is portion it up. Now all those fudge looks quite good and it does taste great. It's a little bit crumbly, it's a little bit hard to cut, so I've probably overcooked it by a minute, maybe those last two minutes at the end. If you do find that happens though, if you use a hot, wet knife, that'll slice through it much better. Just be really careful when you cut it. But it does still taste great. 